Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to delete your WordPress site completely from your server. Now, the reasons you wanna do this are, are your own. I'm sure you have reasons for it. But in case you're wondering why you wanna delete a WordPress site, you might have a development site that you've, you've moved to live already and you wanted to delete the development portion. Or maybe you have a site that was hacked and you have a clean backup. You wanna completely delete the hacked version database and everything and then restore it from the backup. Or maybe you still want to use WordPress anymore, which is totally fine. And this is how you delete it. So here I just have a demo site that I just put up. Got the 2017 theme running on there. It's all very nice. And I want to get rid of this thing. And all you have to do is delete all the files and delete the database. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Go into your cPanel. You can do this first part via FTP or SSH. But the second part you have to do in cPanel, deleting the database. So I'm, I just do both in cPanel. I find the file manager. I open that. I find the site that I want, which is in this demo folder. And first thing I want to do is open the WP config file. And I want to make a note of the database name. I'm going to copy that out. Make a note of it for safekeeping. I'm going to copy the username and the password I don't need to copy. So now I'm going to close this. I'm going to select all of these files and I'm going to delete them. Now, if you have any doubt at all about whether you want to delete them, you can easily make a backup. So you can select all these files like this, click on compress, make a zip backup or a tar or a gzip, whatever kind you want. I usually make a zip compress the files, only takes a few seconds. Of course, if your site has a lot of content, it takes a lot longer. Click on reload, once that's done. You can have a zip file here, that you can simply click on this download button to download it, and you have it for safekeeping. That's if you have any doubt about whether you want to delete it or not. If you don't have any doubt, just select everything, click on delete, click on skip the trash, click on confirm, and now all the files are gone. Go back to the live site and refresh it and we'll see there's an index of up here and index of nothing at all. There's nothing there. But what still exists is the database. So we have to go back to the cPanel to get rid of the database. To do that we go into the MySQL databases. And the reason we made note of the database name is you may have more than one database in your hosting account and you want to make sure you delete the right one. Because if you don't delete the right one, you'll be deleting something else. So the one that we have Database name is WPPHD underscore WEF 3223F. And we find that in the list of databases. Luckily, we only have two, so it's easy to find. It's this first one here. Just going to click on delete, and it's asking, do you want to delete it permanently? Click on yes or delete database to do it. Now the database is gone, but the database user is also still there. So in the, the effort or in the um, desire to reduce clutter, and get rid of things we don't need, we're gonna delete the username. And that's why I made note of the username earlier. So the username was WPPHD underscore R23ER blah, 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 blah. So here we have R23ER as the user. On the right, we have a delete option. Then we delete it, delete user. And there you have it. We have now deleted the WordPress site completely. We go back to here, refresh. It's still gonna look the same as it is as it did before. But now the database is gone, all the files are gone, and your WordPress site is gone. I've linked to a video below in the description that will show you how to restore a site if that's what you wanna do. But if that's not what you wanna do and all you wanna do was delete it, then now we're done. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, Subscribe to YouTube channel and check out WPLearningLab.com where we publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.